Okay, uh, good evening. Um, I'm Richard Wagner. I'm the chair of the partnership for those of you who don't know, know me. Um, Vision 2030 uh, has been our, is, is going to be our guide over the next 10 years as we work together to improve the city of College Park, University of Maryland community. Tonight, we celebrate the culmination over a year's worth of uh, work led by the City of College Park, the University of Maryland, and the City University Partnership involving over 100 local, regional, and uh, statewide elected officials, university staff, faculty, and students, and citizens of College Park and surrounding communities. Vision 2030 is a living document setting forth agreed to goals in four major areas neighborhood preservation and development, transportation, education, and public safety and health, with an emphasis on equity and sustainability. It's, a, it's also a vision that is flexible enough to let us meet the challenges that will come up, come up over the next decade, as well as to seize opportunities as they arise. So before I turn this over to Eric Olson, our executive director, to introduce the uh, signers and endorsers of Vision 2030, I would like to uh, ask Dr. Daryl Pines and also uh, Mayor Patrick Wojan to uh, say a few words on behalf of the university and the city. Dr. Pines, if you could go first, please. Hey, good evening, everyone. And uh, thank you, uh, Richard. Uh, thank you uh, for introductions. I'm pleased to join uh, elected officials from the 21st district, university colleagues who are on the Zoom call with me, partners from the city of College Park, and the College Park City University Planning Group, as well as the board today, as we mark the endorsement of the university community vision of 2030. When I was Dean of the Clark School of Engineering, I was aware of the evolution in the city over the recent years. It's been really amazing to watch what all of you have done. And now it's exciting to be immersed in it from the top as part of my role as president. The College Park City University Partnership has worked to improve public safety, transportation, housing, sustainability, and pre-K-12 education in the city of College Park. I am proud of our work to create a top university community where creativity, learning, innovation, sustainability, and of course, above all, equity happen all throughout the community. This is true for our faculty, staff, and students, and our residents, business owners, partners, visitors, and friends. As you know, Vision 2030 has been created to enhance our community as a sustainable, equitable, safe, and diverse college town. This goes directly in line with my two priorities for the University of Maryland. That is to promote excellence in everything that we do. This includes teaching and learning, research, innovation, the arts and athletics, and to create a multicultural inclusive environment for everyone where everyone thrives. Now, COVID-19 and racial injustice have had a significant impact on us all, our students, faculty, and staff, as well as families and local businesses. Everyone has had to make adjustments during this challenging time. But I know that a moment of difficulty can create, yes, a moment of great opportunity. On a continual basis, we are evaluating the best way to serve our community. We are being forced to rethink all aspects, all aspects of higher education, how we teach, how we conduct research, and our entire business model of education. But I take comfort in remembering that we're all in this together. The university and the city are truly in a unique partnership and we must succeed together. So looking forward, as we continue to navigate these two pandemics, we must continue to envision and work toward a post COVID-19 world. People, it's coming. I can see a light at the end of the tunnel and so can you. I look forward to the growth of College Park and unity between the city, university, and community. Let's continue to make this vision a reality for all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Vines. Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> thank you, Richard, and thanks everyone for joining us. We, um, thank you to the board of the City University Partnership, of course, Eric Olson, the executive director, and thank you to our uh, County Council members, uh, Daniel Glaros, Tom Dernoga, and our District 21 team, uh, Senator Rosa Pep, Delegate Lehman, Delegate Barnes, De Delegate Peyton Melnick, <clears throat> for all your support uh, as we have uh, continued to work on, on, on making College Park a, a better, a stronger uh, college 
College Town University community, a better and stronger place to live and, and uh, provide better amenities to serve uh, our residents uh, in the greater College Park community. Uh, uh, there was a, a little football game on last night and, and uh, I didn't watch it myself because I'm, I'm a Packers fan and they weren't in, they weren't in the game. But, uh, but as anybody knows, watching a football game uh, to accomplish any good thing, you need a team of people. I, and, and everybody carries on their individual roles. Uh, we have uh, um, people within the city uh, who are, are, are setting the policies as a city that we need to move, move forward. We have the university driving our economy and educating our, our young people uh, and, and doing, conducting research that, that benefits our community, supporting businesses uh, and bringing more, more jobs to, to our community. Uh, of course, we have our, our, our state and county elected officials who set the policies and and, and provide the leadership that helps uh, helps create a, a vision, put a vision in place uh, for College Park. Uh, and all that has culminated into this document, the Vision 2030 document, which, which takes on some of the greatest challenges that we face, making sure that we have a strong education system, uh, making sure that we have great, um, that we have a diverse and accessible housing, that we have great uh, development opportunities that provide the amenities that people need, uh, making sure that we're a, a safe and sustainable community as well. And, and Dr. Pine said it, uh, um, said it very well in terms of the twin pandemics that we're facing this year. Uh, I, I see this as a period of transition over the past year in College Park, uh, that, that, that because we've, we've, we've had to be, uh, we, we've, we've had to, to, to shut down and, and, uh, and, and be distanced in a lot of different ways. Uh, we, uh, we, we've, it's given us the opportunity to, I, I think of it almost as, as like a cocoon that we're going to be coming out of. And when it comes, when we come out of this, we're going to be coming out of this much, much stronger uh, because of the work that the, the, the systems that we develop, documents like the, the Vision 2030, uh, the, the development that's happened, even our, our city hall, of course, uh, in College Park, uh, which will enable us to come out of this stronger. Uh, and of course, the uh, in terms of the issues of, of equity, I'm, I'm proud of the strong equity component that's in the Vision 2030 document, uh, and I'm and I'm proud of how we are uh, working together uh, and and tackling uh, issues of racial equity and diversity within our community um, that we uh, we need to to address together, uh, and as we will continue to to uh, work on on uh, facing challenges like bringing. Uh, um, uh, racial uh, equity and uh, restorative justice to uh, the Lakeland community, uh, as well as to college, college Park as a whole, uh, how we will continue to work together on that. Um, so thank you all for joining us uh, um, today as we, uh, as we do this, this uh, ceremonial uh, release signing of the, this uh, um, Vision 2030 document. Uh, and uh, thank you all for your continued partnership as we work to make uh, the vision a reality. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Eric, if you would take over now, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so we have um, our Senator, Senator Rosa Pep, and our delegates um, from the 21st District, as well as our two County Council members who represent College Park here. Um, I will um, remind people this is being recorded. Um, and um, I want to go to uh, Senator Rosa Pep. Um, if you would say a few words, I mean, the others uh, can chime in as well, uh, but let me go to Senator Roosevelt first. And then um, if the delegates, you know, Jocelyn Pena Melnick, Ben Barnes, Mary Lehman um, want to chime in, um, you're, you're welcome to say a few words. Um, and then after that, um, you know, if the, if the council members, um, Mr. Denoga and Ms. Glaros would want to say a few words, that, that would be fine. Um, so Senator Roosevelt. Great, thank you very, very much. And thank you, Eric and Richard for pulling this all together. And thank you, um, Daryl and uh, Patrick for the leadership of the city and the university in this effort. Um, several people on the call were deeply involved in creating the 2020 vision and some came along a little bit later. Uh, those who were there earlier may recall that when we launched the 2020 initiative, my hair looked a little bit more like the cover of colored Daryl's and Patrick's than it does now. Uh, and that's good because people put enormous energy uh, into all pieces of this. The folks at the university, the folks at the city, the folks in the legislature, the folks in the county council. Um, and I think it worked partially because everybody was committed to it and we were unified and we had disagreements about some specific things, but we bought into the vision. 
And that's the reason that I felt really strongly that we should do what we're doing today is to uh, see if we could get all the members of the delegation, both of our county council members, to sign on to the vision so that as this issue goes forward, and some of us may not be in these offices in 2030, some of us may be in these offices in 2030, uh, but whatever it is, uh, I think it's very important that Vision 2030 uh, be seen as our vision, not the university's vision, not the city's vision, not the city and the university's vision, but the whole community's vision led by the university and led by the city. And so I think having the folk, the two county council members and all of us in the delegation literally sign William to accomplishing the vision in 2030. And, and as I've talked with Richard and with um, Eric about, I hope after we do this, we will then, in a measured way, in a, an appropriate way, reach out to our other colleagues in neighboring districts, on the county council, uh, in the city councils, in the legislative delegation, because they have an interest in this too. But I think if we go to them unified, uh, I think we can get folks to, to work with us on this and have the commitment that we need to accomplish over the next 10 years, even more than we accomplished over the last 10 years. So thanks to everybody for participating in this effort and thanks for all you're gonna do over the next 10 years. Thank you, Senator, and thanks for your leadership on, on this and in your leadership of the partnership for uh, many, many years. Um, um, let me um, go to the delegates and see if there's an opportunity here. If you want to say anything, um, it's the, the floor is open. Um, this is Jocelyn. I wanted to say thank you, Eric, for um, organizing this and everyone that is here today. You know, I remember being on the council, city council, um, in 2003. My babies were really babies and they're juniors in mm -hmm. college now. Um, so I'm dating myself. My team can remember and she was there before I. So, you know, it's really important to do things together and you can see the changes that we have been able to accomplish all of us together at different levels and it honestly when they say it takes a village it takes a village because it takes all of us we all bring different strengths different ideas but together like your hand you know all your fingers they work so well together we're all needed and I am excited about, because I remember the 2020, so I am excited about the 2030. And yes, I have um, some gray here, but you know, I haven't <laughs> been able to get a color, just kidding, um, because of the <laughs> pandemic. So you won't see it much longer, um, but I am excited. And we are a partner, honest to God, anything you need, you let us know. Um, you know, my kids um, grew up in College Park. We love College Park. And I congratulate you for this incredible accomplishment. And thank you for allowing me of having the privilege to be part of it. I'm so grateful. Eric, I'll just add my congratulations to the partnership. Uh, certainly some great work you've done here. I am proud and excited to endorse this and uh, get to work with everything that we need in the future. So thanks for your work, everyone at the partnership. Thanks to the university. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to congratulate everyone that was involved, and I know a lot, a lot of, a lot of work went on um, behind the scenes, and happy to be a part of this as well, and to, to sign on with everyone all at the same time. Thank you, delegate. Um, council members, um, Tom Dernoga and Danielle Gleros are, are here, and they've been involved for a long time as well, um, and many wearing different hats and, and working hard over the over many years. Um, um, thank you for your support of this document and for all the work that we're doing in College Park. Um, the floor is open if you either of you have anything that you'd like to say. Um, I'm deferring to the senior council member. <laughs> So I have the honor of being the senior council member in this conversation tonight. I'll take the honor. Um, I think I'll echo just exactly what has been said before, which is congratulations on getting to this moment. Um, I have the honor of people asking me all the time about everything that's going on in College Park. And the first thing I say to them is uh, we are rowing together in the same boat. Um, and it really is that collaboration. And, and even when we are not always on the same page, working together to get on the same page, um, that has really made the difference. Um, and if we could mimic this across the entire county, I have no doubt that we would be succeeding even more 
um, here in Prince George's County. So it's been an honor to work with all of you and looking forward to working with you all for the next few years while I'm on council. Thank you. Thank you. Councilmember Dunoga, you good? I literally deferred. Um, I uh, think you deferred um, everything. Okay. Captured it very well. <laughs> Great. I applaud everybody yeah. and thank everybody for the partnership. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member. Well, so now is the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> the signing of the document. We, we, we do have the document. Um, and if everybody could, um, all the, the delegates and the council members could sign in their places. Um, right, that would be are. fantastic. Um, There we go. Terrific. There it is. It's all finalized. Great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Terrific. Terrific. Well, th <laughs> Great. Well, we're all aligned. We're all moving in the same direction. We're all rowing in the same direction, as Council Member Glero said. Um, so we want to, you know, we want to thank you. The partnership wants to thank you all for your your partnership and, and and making this work. And we will continue to move things forward. We're eager to get to work on the 2030 plan. We've made so much uh, progress over the last 10 years, um, and we're looking forward to even more uh, for the next the next 10 years. Um, and so we're looking forward to the collaboration and making uh, Vision 2030 a reality. So thank you all very much, and we will be in touch. Thank you. Thanks, Stay everyone. healthy. Congratulations. Thanks, Bye. Thanks, everybody. Congratulations. Felicidades.